We had barely flipped the calendar to January before history was already challenged. Hurricane Alex was the first January hurricane to form in the Atlantic in almost 80 years. That same week, two rare EF2 tornadoes wrapped in the darkness of night tore through West Central Florida, taking two lives. One month later, we are tracking what appears to be a tornado on the ground. This is a tornado warning, a dangerous situation for the west side of Pensacola. There has been some damage now and there has been power flashes from this storm. If you're just tuning in. Hurricane Alex was just a precursor to what would be Florida's costliest and deadliest hurricane season in over 10 years. Colin was the earliest sea storm to form on record, sweeping across North Florida on June 6, producing sporadic flooding and isolated tornadoes. During the heart of hurricane season, 10 cyclones formed in August and September. One in particular brought an end to an unprecedented streak. Late breaking news tonight, Dan. Um, we know a lot of folks are up late, probably a little anxious about this storm. We now have a hurricane warning. A storm named Hermine was a game changer in Florida. In the very uh, worst of it now starting to move in. The eye is if it's not already on shore, you could argue that it's starting to come on shore right now. The nearly 11 year hurricane drought was over. I've never seen it come in that fast and that's sort of the reaction everyone has said. It could have got really bad really fast. Knowing what we know now, I would probably never stay. The J storm, Julia, went mostly unnoticed by Floridians, but not by meteorologists. Julia was very weak, but it formed over land. This was a first in Florida. Near the end of September, we were a bit uneasy in the storm center. We knew the hurricane season was far from over, but no one could have predicted what happened next. Hurricane hunters flew into the system late Wednesday morning where they found that closed low level of circulation. Okay, this is a very complicated atmospheric setup over the western Atlantic. This is a quote from the Hurricane Center. Hurricane conditions in Florida cannot be ruled out at the present time. We have a lot more runs now, a lot more runs trending in this direction. So that is catching our eye a little bit. A group of models now take the storm uncomfortably close. Today is the day to prepare. Don't wait until it becomes more clear what the details are going to be before you begin preparing. This is going to be a, a cat three or cat four uh, moving right up against the coast, something we haven't seen uh, in Florida in uh, almost 11 years. I want everybody to survive this. We can, re we can rebuild homes, we can rebuild businesses. I just think of my own family, we can't rebuild a life. Large tree down on a home and power lines are down and I'm afraid that that's a, a trend that we're going to see a lot of. We are seeing lots of trees down. We have more than 100,000 people in our county alone without power. Conditions are rapidly deteriorating, Randy, right there in northeast Florida. Not only the we got we got all the hazards from this uh, hurricane. We're already seeing record storm surge in certain areas of the St. Johns River. We have ground truth that the, the winds uh, and the impact uh, right along the coast is very, very extreme. At Daytona, the waves were crashing over the wall and into the swimming pools. And the hotels, the windows were shattered and the curtains were flying out into the wind. We were very, very fortunate that the core of these uh, major hurricane force winds stayed just offshore of the state of Florida. A shift to the center west by about 50 to 75 miles would have made the difference of you and I having a very different conversation about the 2016 season. Matthew's departure from Florida signaled the end of the rainy season, but to some, it was the beginning of a drought. Meanwhile, in the tropics, a seemingly fitting bookend to a wacky season, Otto was the latest hurricane on record to form in the Caribbean. It moved over Nicaragua Thanksgiving Day, the furthest south a cyclone has ever made landfall in Central America. With four tropical systems and all the tornadoes, 2016 will certainly go down as an active year in Florida. And it was the strength, timing, and location of these storms that truly made it historic. From the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network, home of the mobile app Florida Storms, I'm Deborah Alberto. And I'm Jeff Hoffman, wishing you a happy holidays and sunny skies for 2017.